미국의 한 벤처 캐피털이 지난 6월 AI에 대한 6천억 달러짜리 질문이란 보고서를 펴냅니다. AI를 개발하는 빅테크가 올해 적어도 6천억 달러의 매출을 달성해야 투자 비용을 보전할 수 있는데 실제 매출은 6분의 1에 불과하다는 겁니다. 이 보고서는 AI 거품론에 불을 지폈고 일부 빅테크들의 2분기 실적이 시장 기대에 미치지 못하면서 주식시장이 출렁였습니다. SBS는 검색 스타트업 퍼플렉시티의 창업자 아라빈드 3 니바스를 인터뷰했습니다. 먼저 AI 거품론을 어떻게 생각하는지 물었습니다. Yeah, look, I mean, there's certainly a bubble today. Um, there's no question about it. Uh, but unlike um, some of the things that, that were bubble and then ended up bursting and not delivering value, AI is already delivering value to each one of us already. Like there's a lot of people who use products like Perplexity or ChatGPT or Claude uh, for day-to-day -day tasks like writing emails or like translating, um, you know, from one language to another, or like learning a new language or like customer support bots just can summarize all the complaints of customers and um, you know tell you exactly what to address. AI에 대한 과도한 기대치에 비해 아직 서비스의 다양성과 완성도가 부족할 뿐 수익을 내는 AI 서비스 개발이 뿌리를 내리고 있는 시기라고 평가했습니다. So I certainly don't think uh, there will be any burst of a bubble moment here. Uh, there might be like resetting expectations. Like obviously the expectations are sky high. Um, so there may be some reset and expectations of like, okay, look, I expected too much out of this. This is really useful. I think in general, um, I would say I'm very long on AI and like, I think AI is here to stay. Um, even with the current generation of models that we have today, uh, there's this insane amount of applications to build. And, and, and uh, you know, there are billions of people and like 500 million knowledge workers who will all benefit from all these products. And all the um, value that's been created will be monetized. And that will all result in like an increase in the GDP of the entire world and so many different countries. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't think there will be any like, like uh, disappearance of AI. 지난 2022년 12월에 출시된 퍼플렉시티는 빠르고 정확성 높은 검색 답변으로 구글의 대항마라는 평가까지 받습니다. 아마존 창업자 제프 베조스와 엔비디아 등 IT 업계 큰 손들을 포함해 지금까지 투자 받은 돈은 1억 6,500만 달러, 우리 돈 2,200억 원에 달합니다. SK 텔레콤으로부터도 1,000만 달러를 투자 받았는데 그 비결을 물었습니다. Yeah, yeah. So uh, all our investors, more, most of them, uh, I, would, I would even bet all of them even are, are um, um, fans of the product and users of the product. They've seen it and they see the potential in it. It's very clean, it's fast, it's accurate, it's, it's, it's um, um, much more real-time knowledge than other AI chatbots in the market. Very good for like, deep dives on research on any topic. And once you start using it, it's like you, you keep using it. That retention, that return usage is very high on perplexity. Mm -hmm. You first need to get a lot of users initially, uh, make sure you retain them well, and then go get even more users, make sure you retain them well. Like you got to keep repeating this at different scales. That's how you hit different S-curves, and then it looks like an exponential. But it's a series of small steps that you took that, you know, over on a long time basis looks like an exponential growth. So uh, our current journey here in Korea is similar. Like we are partnering with SKT. OpenAI는 SearchGPT라는 검색 서비스 도입을 선언했고 구글 역시 AI 검색 서비스를 선보였습니다. 아라빈드 CEO는 경쟁자의 등장을 동네 상권에 들어선 스타벅스에 비유했습니다. So uh, there, there is this phenomenon called the Starbucks effect, which is where if there is a street where there's an existing cafe, and Starbucks comes and creates another, their own like cafe uh, in, nearby in that neighborhood, uh, you would expect that the other existing cafe, would, the business would be like uh, spoiled yeah, and yeah. Like affected. Uh, but what usually happens is the other business, other cafe, the smaller cafe gets even more uh, uh, people entering there uh, and like even, even more profits because uh, suddenly people want to compare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starbucks gets the inbound, mm -hmm. people want to compare and then they have a better coffee, they get more, more people. And uh, that's basically what's happening to us. It happened even with... AI가 검색 결과를 요약 정리하는 구글의 신규 서비스를 들여다보니 구글의 기존 비즈니스 모델과 상충한다는 지적도 했습니다.
It happened even with Google AI overviews. Honestly, that's an even bigger threat to us than, than search GPT. Uh, where right under the Google search bar, they started rendering perplexity-like answers with citations. But we knew instantly that uh, this is just an experiment and, and not a serious commitment because uh, uh, Google's business relies on making people click on links. So the moment you stop doing that and just giving instant answers, uh, whether you kill perplexity or not, you're going to kill Google. It's like, that's why we are going for this because uh, doing, it's a classic innovator dilemma situation where the incumbent with all the power, the technology and the market access is unable to ship the same product because of their business model. 에릭 슈미트 구글 전 CEO는 미국 스탠퍼드 대학교의 한 강연에서 구글이 재택근무를 도입한 이후 직원들의 일하는 시간이 절대적으로 부족했고 이 때문에 AI 분야에서 스타트업보다 뒤처졌다고 말해 논란이 되기도 했습니다. 실리콘밸리에서 주목받는 AI 스타트업 창업자의 생각은 어떨까? Um, everybody else works hard. We don't believe in like the Eric Schmidt style, like saying you gotta go work hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, rather, we believe in like setting aggressive deadlines, yeah. um, pushing ourselves individually. Uh, and and, and um, if you go and ask somebody a question of like, how long would it take to get this done? Mm -hmm. And they answer a week. Yeah. And, and, and I think just literally asking this question, what, what can we do to help you get it done in three days? Mm -hmm. Right? And, and if they say it's, it's impossible, no matter what we do, it, it cannot be done in three days, then yeah. don't push them. Yeah. Yeah. But even if they even like consider a second thought, mm -hmm. oh, maybe it can be done in three days if I do it you know, differently, yeah. or if I, if I, if I put in a little more hours, yeah, yeah. then at least it, it forces them to think, to figure out a way to do it faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also it, it uh, enforces the culture of like, oh, actually, you know what? You know, I, I shouldn't try to do things in a week frame. I should try to do things in like days frame, and then three days to like one day. Like you know, at the end of the day, like can I, can I get it done? If something is so important, get it done the next hour. I think that sort of like you you may not actually finish things, but that that sort of a mentality, that culture, like like is, uh, op makes you operate with sense of urgency. 미국 시사 주간지 타임은 이달 초. 아라빈드 CEO를 AI 분야에 가장 영향력 있는 인물 100인 중한 명으로 선정했습니다. 그가 AI 스타트업 창업자들에게 하고 싶은 조언은 무엇일까? I think the main advice I would say is iterate really fast. Like like uh, speed of iteration is the most important thing. Uh, the more frequent you make contact with reality, that is more real signal you gather from uh, users of whether your idea is a success or a failure. And then, um, and then, like, like going back and like changing your idea until it works. I think that whoever does the most experiments in in that short period of time will win. SBS 홍현주입니다.